Good morning, and welcome to Bad Bat Hikes. Today I'm going to be doing a gear review of the Paca by Cedar Tree. This is definitely the piece of gear I've gotten the most questions on out of anything by far. So I figured I would do a proper gear review of it. So if you did not know, the Paca is a poncho rain jacket combination uh, for backpackers. And essentially what it is, it is a poncho with a bump out for your pack. So everything is all in one and can stay dry. So first, a few stats to get us started. So the features of the Paca include total protection. Essentially, everything stays on the inside, your straps, the top of your pack, etc. All is enclosed and doesn't get wet like it would with a traditional pack cover and rain jacket combo. It circulates air by using a pit zip. So essentially if it's hot and it's raining, you can unzip those. So air can still circulate and you can still say just as cool as humanly possible. It keeps your entire pack dry. I never had an issue with my pack being wet after using this and it's packable. Essentially, it packs up into its own pocket just like this and I can even squish it down like even even more than that I definitely shove this in the back of my bag most of the time when I wasn't using it you can like squish it until it's about nothing so sizing for the packa is a little bit different essentially it goes by your height and your pack size so mine is a medium X, which is essentially medium height and X refers to there being more room in the pack area because at the beginning I had stuff strapped to the outside that I needed more room for and I wanted room in case I ever want to use this while carrying a bear can. Next the Paca comes in three different fabrics, a 15D, a 30D, and a 40D. The D stands for denier and the number stands for essentially how thick it is. So the 15 is the thinnest and the lightest and the 40 is the thickest and the heaviest. I went for the middle 30D. With that, the 15 and the 40 come in gray, while the 30 comes in four different colors, red, blue, green, and gray. So I have the blue 30D medium X is the technical term for the one that I will be showing in this video. Also should be noted that all of them come seam taped. So that's something that they all come with. Let me show you how to put it on. First, let me get my pack on. Cause you know, if you're backpacking, that's, you know, important to have. Here's my pack. It's fully loaded. It's, it's real size. I don't have any food or water in there, but you get the gist. So you unzip. It all comes out. You fold the pocket back in on itself and then zip it shut, okay? So it looks like this. Essentially you find the hood bit and then I call it the turtle shell. You put the turtle shell around your backpack like so. So once you've got it in your turtle shell, there is a elastic cord that you can tighten down. So once you've got that tightened down, you can put it on just like normal. All right, so pack is on. It's kind of hanging off the back of me. So then you can put on the sleeves. Sleeve one. Sleeve two. Hood up. And I did bring out there is a like flexible plastic in here to like have the hood keep its shape, but I liked to wear a ball cap with it to kind of help keep that out of my eyes. So kind of like this, but you don't have to, it works well enough on its own. So we're all on and then at the bottom there's a zipper. So here's what it looks like. There are ways to cinch it down. There's a cord on your wrist and this was very important for like keeping rain out. So cords on your wrist, 
this can go all the way up so like full on blueberry mode and there used to be a cord at the bottom I cut it off because I just ended up kicking it most of the time but that is an adjustment point if you want to use it and then underneath both arms there's a zipper for ventilation so this is what I would call full blueberry mode it's all on <laughs> I'm all covered so as you can see like nothing's going to get wet that's part of that like full protection like everything's on the inside if I were wearing just a normal rain jacket and a pack cover like all of this my hip belt pockets my fanny pack would have gotten drenched so that was a big plus of this now if you needed pack protection, like if it was like sprinkling a little bit or whatever, and you didn't want to wear it like full on, there are a couple other ways to wear this that I kind of just figured out as I went. So this was, like I said, full blueberry mode. Then what I had, what I called like half blueberry, which was unzipping this, tucking the bottom in, and kind of going like this. So this way, if it was like sprinkling, but it was like really hot, I could still have some protection, but like it wouldn't be getting in my way. So this is like half blueberry mode. Then sometimes you just needed a pack cover. Like you didn't need the whole shebang. So what you could do, and please know that I haven't taken my bag off this whole time but you can take off the sleeves. And this was especially important both while it was raining, like if it had stopped, and then like I would put the pack cover on like preventatively, knowing that it was going to rain so I could just pull my rain gear on the second it started raining, I wouldn't have to take my pack off. So I take the sleeves, tuck them in, and this is where we cinch that cord at the very beginning. So it all kind of stays tucked away. And then I can reach back, roll this, tuck it in to that elastic, and boom! Turtle shell mode. Pack cover mode. So I can be walking along. Oh no, it's raining. Oh no, it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. Look out! Look out! I'm melting! I'm melting! So much melting is happening! Ah! Rain! Rain, 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 rain! Done! <laughs> so like, you can like be like at the ready at any moment because like if you didn't have this you'd have to like dig in your bag and take off your pack and put on your rain jacket and by that point you're drenched <laughs> so that was super nice so if I knew it was going to rain I would put it in that turtle shell mode and be ready to like whoa bam like as soon as it starts raining okay so you've had it out you've dried it off it's done how do I put it away so we just kind of do it in reverse you've got your mesh pocket you undo the zipper the pocket inside out and then you just start stuffing all the way in the only thing you have to be careful about is aha there it is the like flimsy plastic bit of the top you don't want to like fold it or crinkle that so that's the only bit you have to like make sure is in there okay and then the rest just stuff it in stuff 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 zipper it back up good to go you can crush it down put it wherever put it in the your pack put it in storage etc so very very packable now with every product there are flaws and there are two main flaws of this product I say them very lightly because any single rain protection item that is light enough to take on a through hike will wet out at some 
point. So eventually, if it's been raining on you like hard for like a hot second, it will be wet on the inside from both condensation and your sweat. Gross, but true. So using those pit zips is super important, but several times I did take this off and it was just completely soaked. And that's just how it is. My bag was never wet though. Never was my bag wet. My fanny pack did get drenched a couple of times, but that's just because when I had my fanny pack on, it would sit directly up against the side and kind of soak through that way. And it should be noted that during the 2023 season up in New England, it started raining and then didn't stop for like two months. <laughs> so this got a lot of wear and tear and I didn't get a single hole in it and I was not gentle with it by any means. I scraped up against trees. I shoved this in my bag. I was very, very rough on it and there's not a single hole, which is amazing. The second flaw of this, and again, this is gonna be any sort of rain gear, is it gets hot very quickly. Like standing out here right now, like I'm kind of sweating and I'm not even moving. And it's just because to keep water out, you kind of have to keep heat in. So it does get really, really hot, but that was very beneficial when it was snowing because it was just another layer to kind of keep me warm. I use this over my quilt at night a couple of times because I needed to trap in warmth. So wetting out, and being hot are the two flaws but like I said that's gonna be any rain gear you get any rain gear you get is going to wet out at some point or and or be extraordinarily hot while you're climbing so that is the Packa by Cedar Tree <laughs> I would definitely recommend this product to any backpacker who anticipates hiking in a rainy climate. So if you want more gear reviews of something specific that you saw me use on the AT, let me know. I just know that I've gotten hundreds of questions about this and I'll be happy to answer any more you've got about this product in the comments below. So if you like post Appalachian Trail outdoorsy content, don't forget to subscribe. I also have an Instagram account, but for now, happy trails.